Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jenini Krishnaswamy, and I'm here to answer your questions about being a doctor. You all sent in so many great questions about what it takes to work in this field, and I'm excited to answer some of these questions for you. So let's get started. What was the hardest part about school? So by medical school, if you mean medical school, the hardest part was definitely the sheer volume of information that you are learning. There is so much. If I look back and think about what I learned those first two years of medical school, it is enormous. It's like learning a different language in addition to maybe 20 courses worth of material and you're still not done because that's just the book part. Now you have to learn how to synthesize and apply that to actual human beings. And that doesn't even count the technical stuff like operation suturing and the fine motor skills, identifying nerves in the human body. So there's difference between textbook learning and real world, real world practice. So we're used to textbook learning in high school, middle school, that's all we do. We learn a textbook, we learn about some abstract ideas, we memorize some facts, that's good. That is usually not as big of a change for students coming into medical school. It's just more facts, more knowledge, but it is so much more than anything that you're ever used to. The part that's extra challenging is it's not just memorizing and it's not just you know memorizing and learning facts. It's about the application to the human body and not even just the application to the human body, but to an actual human being in real time. So it's very difficult to convey how hard that is, um, but luckily you are not alone. Everybody feels this way. Nobody is like, oh, med school is a cakewalk. Believe me, if they say that, it's not true. Um, so it is not a cakewalk for anyone and everyone's in the same boat and it fosters that unique bond that's between doctors because we all go through this really challenging process of learning something and entering a new paradigm of education. So that was definitely the hardest part, but I'm glad that that's over for now. <laughs> Although I will say learning is never over as a doctor. You're always learning, you're always updating your knowledge, and you're always taking tests. So if you consider that to be hard, that is, that is also a hard part. Does my background matter? I would say if, if by background you mean what your college degrees are, what um, extracurriculars you're taking, what your interests are, absolutely not. Med schools want diverse candidates. So we don't want a hundred biochemistry majors. Not that there's anything wrong with biochemistry majors, but you want that diversity. You want that variety. You want people to have you know, some perspective and things that they learn from their peers. Truly, in medical school, you learn a significant amount from your peers, and that's definitely true in, in residency and even more true in medical practice. I learn so much from my peers. So who you're around will influence how you learn, and it will also influence the quality of the class. So you don't need to feel like you have to have a particular background to be successful in medical school or even being a doctor. In fact, if your background is quote unquote unique, that's working in your favor. And I would definitely be proud of that, be proud of your uniqueness, and if your uniqueness is your passion, go for it. That's gonna be wonderful. If the other aspect of that, if you come from an underrepresented minority in medical school, so like you, don't look like most doctors who are practicing. You come from a minority ethnicity. You may have a different sexual orientation. Um, there's many different ways you can feel different. Also, there is 100% room for you and that can actually work in your favor. We need to have more diversity and representation in our medical professions because this is going to help patients feel comfortable as well. And patients come from all backgrounds, patients come from all walks of life, all socioeconomic backgrounds, all ethnicities, 
all sexual orientations, you know, they are running the spectrum. We want our doctors to look like our patients so our patients feel like they can trust their doctors and that they can relate to them. So 100%, don't worry about your background. It doesn't matter. Just focus on passion and sincerity and discipline, and that will get you through. That's all the time we have for questions. I hope this was helpful. Everybody at UWorld wishes you all the best in your future careers and good luck.